So I'm reflecting on today of the year of 2017. I had been super, super sick with prolonged seizures. Um, I actually had status epilepticus and that's very dangerous. Um, there were several seizures that we didn't know if I would come out of. Um, so you'll see the photos either before or after. So if you've seen the photos, probably be before. So there's a photo of me with the seizure dog. Um, there's a photo of me getting an EEG. I've had one several times, but um, that's what you have to do when you have epilepsy. Um, and then there's a photo of me celebrating Epilepsy Awareness Day. I know it sounds weird to say celebrating, but you know, everyone has a different story. And in my situation, um, you know, we wear the color purple and we celebrate and just celebrate the fact that, I mean, <laughs> in 2017 I was not healthy I was not well um, the seizures were awful and so I'm on treatment now I'm in the best care of the pediatric um, epilepsy team and I also have a former pediatric neurologist we love you dr. M he was there with us through literally everything I don't think we would have made it this far without him and as a Christian I know I know that God did all the work I know that but he also puts the doctors in your life to to help and to make sure that you're in the best care that you can be um, so I am on treatment for seizures and um, yeah this is the day I was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy um, eight days before my birthday <laughs> um, we went in the office 2017 and I had been on treatment for a couple years and I was diagnosed um, very quickly and I will never forget the words he said were, you have temporal lobe epilepsy, you don't have onset adult seizures. Um, I mean seizures are not good anyway, but the fact that my body is very little, we were worried about certain things and after doing the EEG testing, he was like, you have baby seizures. Um, I can also have infantile seizures. Um, I never grew out of like not having a fever. Like whenever I have a fever, I, I will probably break it with a seizure more than likely. Um, not all of my seizures are you drop on the floor, you shake and you're not conscious. Um, I have had seizures like that in the past and that's very scary and hard for me and my family, of course. But I also have um, partial vocal seizures which I always have auras, which tastes like fingernail polish. I smell, um, it's weird, like, it, no, I'm sorry. I taste, it's like a metallic taste. And then I also smell fingernail polish removal and oh, just the auras are awful. Like you feel nauseous when you're about to have a seizure. I know when I'm about to have one. It's just hard because I don't have much of, of a warning. I mean, I have a warning, but I don't have much time. So right when I say I don't feel well, you have about 10 seconds. and. I just don't feel well. So I, I do have the little staring seizures. Like I can literally just be like walking around. And if I just kind of stop for like 10 seconds and stare off, uh, that's a staring seizure. He's caught those also. Um, so I've literally had all the seizures. I've had a couple tonic clonic ones, but it's very rare for me to have those. Most of my seizures are partial, which in a way is good. Not that seizures are good, but when you're in a situation like this, it's good because you, like I kind of know what's going on, but then I'm kind of confused and then I just sometimes I'll cry, sometimes I'll laugh and be happy. Um, we do have a plan in action, so that's good. But I just wanted to kind of spread awareness, but also just reflect on, you know, eight days. I, before my birthday, I was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy. And what did that mean for my family? Just, you know, be aware of like, we already knew that I had seizures and that epilepsy was going on, but you guys, we did not know what exactly. There's different types of epilepsy. There's different types of seizures. There's different types of patterns. And my neurologist even looked at us and he literally said to me, uh, Ashley, I will never forget. He said, if your treatment didn't work, I had been on treatment for about two weeks at this point. He said, if it didn't work, I was not going to keep putting you on medicine. I was getting ready to hospitalize you for a while because that was really scary and I've been doing this for over 30 years. 
Um, so I was grateful that it did work, but I was grateful I, w I was still under the, you know, best care of him, but it was still scary, but it was good. So our prayers were answered because the treatment did work. And also, um, he didn't say, just to make it clear, he, he didn't say he wasn't going to put me on seizure treatment. He wanted, he was going to have to hus hospitalize me to see what would work and what doesn't work. Um, just by monitoring me for longer time instead of just trying different seizure medicines he didn't feel like that was the best case scenario and i actually agree like you know sometimes you don't know um so but i'm i'm grateful that we didn't have to do that i mean i would have been in you know it's always scary to think about it's like a lump in my stomach when i think of all the seizures that i went through and that my family had to watch me have because you know we still have hic we call them hiccups we still have hiccups sometimes i'll have a breakthrough from just not feeling good you know epilepsy is epilepsy it is what it is but at the same time um i'm grateful i did not have to go in the hospital for longer than i was already in there and i was grateful that treatment started working and i'm definitely grateful for um my new epilepsy team oh that's another picture too me and my uh new epilepsy team and just you know it was just very it was an emotional day but it was also we got answers and that's what we always pray for for answers so that we know what we're dealing with so if you know someone who's dealing with epilepsy or you yourself is just know that it's going to be okay and that you with strength and hope and perseverance you can get through this anyway thanks for watching and see you next time